going to start this fly with a size 8 long curve shank hook. And welcome to Everything Fly Fishing, where we tie flies to catch fish, not only fishermen. And this is going to catch both. This is a really nice fly. I'm really excited to bring you this. It's one of my favorite. I don't go to the creek without it. So here, let's get to the fly. The rest of the fly. Okay, we're going to start the thread right be behind the eye of the hook. And then we're going to take two of these. They're like a burnt yellow, kind of an orange um, goose bites. We're going to tie one on each side of the eye. These represent the antenna. Then we're going to tie it off. I'm going to finish it. And you're done. That's the fly. No, no. wanted to show you this if you could see the gut the goose bites have a curve to them so you want to make sure that curve goes out so they don't curve in together you know I'm mean, like pointing in together like a claw but point out so I'd share that with you I didn't get to point that out when I was making the video so make sure you time with the curve out Okay, so you're going to take the hook and put it in and put a 1 8 bead. And you're going to put it right up to where the, as close as you can to the eye of the hook. Okay, so now you're going to wrap your thread all the way back to a little bit past the uh, point of the hook, to about the barb of the hook, and you're going to tie on your tail there. Okay, now you can see these uh, goose bites. They're longer down at the base, at the bottom of the, of the feather, and really skinny at the top, or really small at the top. You want to use the top ones to tie your antenna and your ta tails out of the bottom, the longer, thicker ones. Okay, you're tying these tails. Um, again, you want to make sure the curve is bent out so they flare out. And you want to make this, I like to make this as long as the thorax area of the fly. So you could take one of your legs or something and measure the length. Um, that's, about, that's how long I like to make them. And I'm going to hold my legs up here to measure them. That's the length I like. Now you're going to cinch them goose bites down, and I'd like to wrap my thread and keep them, don't cut them off, and use them to build up the body. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to tie them down to build up my body. Okay, I snuck in a piece of uh, 
200 denier black thread for a rib. You could also use wire. Um, it, I like the thread. You can use a wire. Wire makes them a little more solid. But uh, I'm going to use this thread as a rib. I got some dubbing here. I just went and bought um, Yellowstone dubbing. I think it's possum. Something like that. But anyway, you could use rabbit or whatever. As long as it's, you know, get a Yellowstone mix. Now you're just going to dub this. Um, you might make a beautiful cigar shape. Um, you can hold up your legs or whatever you're going to use your guesstimate. How far you want to run up till you end this. Because you're going to tie in your thorax area. You know, your rubber leg, your livey legs. That was a good guess, but that's exactly about the length I want it. I held my legs up and that works. So I'm going to take your wire, or your thread, the thread in my case, and wrap it the opposite way you wrapped your dubbing. This will make it more secure, plus you'll see your um, ribbing better. Okay, if you want to get fancy, you could get a little fancier like I did and start your thread wraps closer together at the tail. And further away up at the thorax area, um, this will make it look more natural. Trust me, it ain't going to help you catch more fish. The fish don't give a damn whether the, how the ribbing looks. I've tried it both ways. I've got a sloppy dubbing and it caught just as many fish. So, or sloppy ribbing, sorry. So we got nymph skin here. I got it a set uh, blue herring as a variety pack. It came with... Um, sow bug skin and all different kinds of nymph skin and I like this pattern for the stone fly so you remember you cut it up cut it I have it measured I show you how you measure it so it fits between the legs and then you want to move the paper and always tie the shiny side up because you're going to fold it over I mean doll side up because you're going to fold it over and then the shiny side will be up Okay, I like to turn the device towards me to tie this nymph skin because you want to make sure it's directly on top of the fly. So I like to turn it toward me so I can make sure I get it directly on top. Well, there's a lot of steps in this fly, but man, is this fly worth it. It's dandy and it looks so realistic. So if you want to go take a break, whatever. All right, back to the fly. So you want to tie these legs exactly how I have them held here. 
with the ones, them legs facing forward, forward, and you're gonna tie that first set of legs as close as you can to the beads. You're gonna cut that tab off, you see, and then you're gonna wrap behind the legs in between the second, the first set of legs and the second set, and behind the second set, and in between the second and the third set, and then right behind the third set, and you're gonna cut the rest of that tab off too later. Okay, you're gonna lift up on them tabs and cut them tabs off close to the legs as you can, close to the front legs as you can, without cutting your thread, and as close to the back ones as you can, without cutting your thread. So behind this last set of legs, we're gonna put some more of this yellow dubbing on. Okay, so we're gonna bend the nymph skin over, and I like to put a crease in it. This makes it a really nice, like, smooth fold in it. And then you're gonna wrap it and tie it down right behind the last set of legs. So you're going to wrap this, tie this all the way down to up to the second set of legs. Then you're going to fold it back and tie over top of that. And what that's going to do is create bulk there and also make a step in the nymph skin that makes it look really nice, make it look really uh, like the real thing. So for the, the next dubbing, we mixed some of that yellow you have here and a white, or actually it's not a white, it was a off white, but you're gonna mix this together. The gill plate on these flies from here on up are a lighter color than the rest of the fly. And I've been tying this way for about two years now and three years, and they are deadly tied this way. So mixed up. Uh, off-white and the yellow together to get a real light yellow. Okay, behind these legs you want to do the same thing. You want to tie it down, then pull it back and tie over that, sit you down. And this really makes a really cool step in the in the um, wing case. Really looks natural.
I'm gonna bend this nymph skin over and tie this off right directly behind the bead. Look how cool that bug looks. It looks so realistic. See, you're gonna cut, tie this down, um, cut off the nymph, the nymph skin as close as you can. And, uh, you and me. Hope you liked that video. Um, tie some of these up. They're deadly. You want them in your box. Thanks for coming and joining us on another, another Friday video. Keep your lines wet. Out of the trees. And only give them fish. A sword that you will have a great day. See you next Friday.